and welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep with me, Tom. In today's video, we're looking at something a little bit different. Now, about two months ago, I was contacted by channel Patreon backer Lee Rayner asking if I'd be interested in producing a feature on a new fantasy computing platform he was working on. Being a huge fan of these sort of projects, I agreed to take a look. And so Lee and his son Kevin actually came down to visit me here at Wi-Fi Sheep. A real father and son team and together they have created something called the Conquer Computer System. So what's it all about? The Conquer Computer is what is known as a fantasy system which means as a standalone computer hardware project it never actually existed. But instead, the Conquer computer lives as an Android app running in software on current computer platforms, such as Raspberry Pi 400 and Android TV boxes, to name just a few. The Conquer computer is a fully self-contained programmable environment using its own C or Python-like programming language, which is fully documented within the app. As an app, Conquer also gives you access to full hardware graphics acceleration if your host platform supports it. And unlike other fantasy systems and apps, Conquer is not artificially limited by memory size, processor speeds or graphics resolution. It's also not locked behind a paywall, being free to download and use, which is amazing. Conquer can also be configured to run on boot up, so can be used as the device's dedicated front end user interface. The platform also has its own dedicated website and YouTube channel with a host of information and how to videos, most of which are presented on camera by Kevin. After you finish watching me, do go and check out the Conquer Computer channel on YouTube and don't forget to show your support by liking and subscribing. Right, back here, let's take a closer look at Conquer and see what it can do. Okay, so the chosen hardware to demonstrate Conquer computer on is for me, the Raspberry Pi 400. Perfect all-in-one ARM-based low-cost machine. They come like this, it's not a kit or anything. We've done a review on Pi 400 before and I've been supplied here a SD card which contains an Android image and the Conquer software pre-installed. Details of how to install on Android 4, Raspberry Pi 400 are on the Conquer YouTube channel. Details and links for that are in the description to this video. So let's put the SD card in. And we'll power up. And it'll take a few moments, but we see the Android boot screen. Now it will be possible at some point in the not too distant future to have a version of Conquer that boots straight through so you won't need to do this mini step I'm about to do in this video. But if you want to use your Android desktop or something else as well as Conquer then you'll want it set up to go straight to the Android desktop rather than straight through the Conquer. So here is an Android desktop. Now I'm running on a desktop machine so I need a mouse and care so I have a mouse plugged in. I have a cursor on screen so we'll click and drag select my programs and I've got here Conquer which I'm just going to open up and this will boot straight into Conquer and we have a new untitled file uh, all the program files are known as .cnk or conk files and it puts in this basic default program as we start so we have a main function and we have a draw function down the bottom here we have Conquer's menu so we have file edit directory and the manual this is one really cool thing which I mentioned in the introduction is Conquer's manual is actually embedded in the application so you can bring up things that you need just by a simple click so for example we've got the command summary which gives you all the commands in Conquer's syntax control and Q exit color names here is just some of the colors that Conquer can support. And they're actually by name. So you can type in the name of the color to get that color, which is a great function, great feature, I should say. I will just quit out. And we have the short keys, which brings up this, which is a bit like a, a manual, a bit like the, the old BBC Micro manual. And it shows you the control and the functions, which again is really, really cool to see. 
So we've got this basic program already in. I keep calling it basic. It's not basic as in the program language. It's simple as in it's a base simple program that Conquer starts with. So we can go file, run, and you can see that the program executes. What it does, is it prints Conquer computer and it draws a shape on screen. Control Q to exit. So we can see main function, simple commands like print Conquer computer. So I could change that to print, let's say, make sure we're in the uh, uh, quote marks and say print y by sheep. And we have a circle here. And uh, let's change, let's say, oh, I don't know, 400. Okay. So I've made two very simple changes just to the stock program. So if I now go run, there we go. So it's now reprinted. Wi-Fi sheep as opposed to con computer. I've just made that change and I've just changed the diameter of our circle. So we are now running with a much bigger circle. So that's really, really cool. OK, so let's just sort of get an idea of how things roughly work. So we'll just take the draw command out for the minute and we will just take this print statement out as well. So if I say, for example, just as a really simple code, let's say print uh, seven add two. OK. And we'll go Control R to run that, and you see it comes back as nine. Control Q to quit. So we know that works. If I wanted to make it a little bit more complicated, I could declare a variable. I could say num x equals seven, and instead of seven, I could say x. Now, if I run that, there we go, nine. What we've done there is actually create a variable. So if I just go Control Q and quit back to our source code. So we've created a number, we've declared a number variable called x. So if I say x num equals zero, and let's see if this works. Can I say if x equals x plus one, print x. I don't know if that'll work, let's see. Oh, it does work. There we go. One. Excellent. What if I wanted to do the classic looping? Well, the loop statement is actually here in the function draw. So you have a setup for the main and you have a function draw. So what we'll do then is we'll just retype this piece down here. So because we want to loop this every time, every cycle of the program. So we're going to go x equals x plus one. And we'll print x. And just make sure we've tabbed nicely in line it's not essential to tab but just nice to keep things ordered we'll take the line out of here so hopefully this simple program i'm now setting up should work let's find out so let's go control r and there we go perfect so that is behavior i would expect to see had we written this in python or basic as you can see it's scrolling the program and Every time we do a loop of the program, which is in that main draw function, it adds one to x. So x equals itself plus one, it going up one every time, and then it prints the screen. Hence, we get this ever looping scroll. So if I go control and Q, I could for now, for example, change that variable. So I could say, uh, actually, what we could do is we could put something else up here. So we say num equals. Uh, z equals 10. So I put z down there. So now x will equal x plus z. z equals 10, x at the moment equals 0. Let's try that. So if I now go control and r, as you can see, we're now counting in tens, and that works perfectly fine. And that is the fundamental basics of how programming works and also how conquer works. So let's take a look at a couple of the demos here that the Conquer computer system can do, just because I want to try and demonstrate to you the power and capability that Conquer actually has. So the first one here, the demo is 3D. So we'll just open 3D.cnk. And you can see here we've got source code that we can use the cursor keys to scroll up and down. So we have a main function, if statement, A function draw statement
and you can see here if and we've set up a variable called camera z at the end so we can click to run by file and run or i can go control r on the keyboard and you can see here it actually runs and i can just sort of slow this down a little bit it actually generates a 3d plane and then drives us over the plane and it just loops which is quite impressive look how smooth it runs considering this is interpreted code very very impressive if i want to break out the program it's control q and that brings us straight back to our syntax sprites and objects are also very capable in conquer and um, there's this demo here called figure which we're going to open up now figure uses the picture command and let's scroll back up to the top you can see how an object can be drawn with color by stating a string variable so you can see here that we're creating an object and another object these are actually different frames of animation a third object and something that looks suspicious viciously like a sheep and then we can declare the colors so palette so palette g is green red brown dark blue black etc 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 you get the idea and we can then draw to the screen so let's run that and see what happens and as you can see it draws sprites or vector based graphics live in the conquer programming space and these are vector so it doesn't matter if they're scaled up or shrunk they'll always be smooth and anti-aliased and it's actually really really quite impressive let's take a look at one or two other demonstrations so i want to show you uh, json now json is a little bit more technical it's about how to input and store data so in this very short program we create a string for name a number variable called type and box no and then in the main function here storage storage if storage dot dat exists then we load the storage data else we create storage so we're actually creating a separate data file called dot dat which conquer can then write to your home directory of your host os in this case android so let's take a look then and in this case it's read back the data and it prints the data in a statement here for us to read so we can use this for data logging purposes this is a demonstration program called joystick and as you might tell it's something to do with actually reading a usb joystick device plugged in to your host machine so i was kindly given this clone playstation 2 type usb controller so let's plug that straight into our pi make sure that we have the analog setting on if it's a playstation you need to make sure you have the analog control on now if we go file and run this you can see how I can control it's a little glitchy but I'm using an analog stick and I can actually move this dot around when I press buttons you can see it identifies the button press it takes a minute just to get used to but I am actually controlling the dot around the screen which you can see here just on this analog joystick i'm moving that around and you can see how that corresponds to what's happening on screen so you can see how we have a function draw mid x mid y we can draw the circle and then we can actually use the in key statement in key if you're familiar with bbc basic you'll recognize in key because it's a statement used. so we're actually reading the controller as if it was a keyboard press which by the way you can also use in key for keyboard pressing so you don't have to just be through controllers you can also do this through the keyboard itself 
And you can see here how it's uh, the text that prints if it identifies a certain thing has actually been pressed. So all these commands, as you can see, are actually pre-existing in Conquer itself. Off the manual option, we can also hit introduction. And this will give you the introduction to Conquer and explain a little bit about what's going on, as I've sort of just briefly explained to you in this video, and how things actually work. Right, let's take a look at some of the more advanced demos that Conquer is capable of. So we're going to open again. And let me show you this breakout game or clone. So we'll open it up. And again, you can now see this is all the source code. All the programs available for Conquer are open sourced. As we see, there's a fair bit of code in this one. It's not a huge amount. But there it is. So let's run Control R, and it's a sort of interesting variation on the whole breakout sort of. I would say pong. It's not quite pong, but you've got paddles up, down, left, right kind of thing. I have no idea where that ball is going. There we go. I'm playing this currently on the controller, which we've got plugged in. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Completely missing what I'm meant to be aiming for. See if I can fire it back at what I want to be. Go on. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, come on. I've already got two. Ah, missed. But it gives you the idea of the kind of games that could be created quite easily within the Conquer system. And I remind you, everything you're seeing is completely free, which I think is amazing. I missed that completely, which I think is amazing. This game is fiendishly difficult. <laughs> you wouldn't think so with a ball not moving. But oh, there we are. We made a sound. You wouldn't think with the uh, ball moving as slowly as it is, but no, it is actually surprisingly, no, <laughs> difficult. <laughs> go on, go on, go on. Eh, there we go. No. Oh. <laughs> You've really got to try that one out for yourself. Sticking with the game theme, an example here I want to show you. Uh, this is called Scramble. I've just loaded the source code in. So let's run with Control R. And you can see it's uh, it's not a playable game, but it gives you an idea of a parallax scrolling environment from a sort of classic arcade style game and shows you what's capable and what's possible within the Conquer system. The digit here on screen is showing you the uh, frame rates. So we're running at 30 frames a second. Some newer Mercy Pi 400s and also newer alternative Android hardware might actually run this at up to 60 frames a second. Mine being a first generation Pi 400. And yes, there was a difference. Rust Pi were very quiet about this. Later Pi 400s actually have slightly faster firmware than the early ones. And mine's an earlier generation. So I run at about 30 frames. You could run up to 60. OK, and to conclude this quite quick demonstration of the Conquer system, I want to show you this that's made up especially for this demonstration here on Wi-Fi Sheep, and it's called Wi-Fi Sheep. Let's just have a quick look through the source code again. So you can see there are those animation frames we talked about. We have some number variables that we've now covered. So we've got numbers. Uh, so we've got various coordination of where things are. This is for plotting on the screen. Our draw function. So remember, draw function acts as the main loop for Conquer. So anything in here is looped every cycle of program. And we end there. OK, you ready? Let's have a look at this one. I think that's quite good, isn't it? I uh, like that. Um, so you can see here animation, how animation works. And we have a couple of uh, Wi-Fi sheep in the field doing their own thing and this program just loops like this indefinitely and uh, it's also really really smooth animation as well you can see just how smooth the frame rate is on movement 
And that's the other thing about Conquer that's so different from the other systems. And as I said, you're not limited by memory or screen resolution as you would be on so many other fantasy console systems. So there we have it, the Conquer computer system. Overall, a really impressive, powerful, yet free programmable system app for the Android platform. If you want to find out more, including how to download and install on your device of choice, do go and check out the conquer.computer website. And yes, that's all you have to type into your browser. From there, you'll find a whole host of useful information, including tutorials. Which brings me back to the official Conquer Computer YouTube channel. Links on screen now and in the description. Kevin is your host and will guide you through the many truly awesome things Conquer can actually do. So do go and check all of that out at conquer.computer. And as always, thank you for your company and I'll see you real soon right here on the channel. Until next time, bye for now.